how can a thing happen at all without there being an active draw on energy or some other thing that we can measure changing yeah. mm -hmm. for them to be permanently connected or, or while they're connected, they're connected. Something's got to, some clock is ticking. Something should be measurable from that. This is one of the big differences between quantum physics and classical physics. We are, con we're conditioned, we're trained to think that there had to be something exchanged back and forth, energy, mm -hmm. a particle, right. whatever, between two things. But that's a classical, that's a classical, classical yeah, yeah, bias. Perception. Quantum entanglement, again, as we said earlier, is still not completely well understood. In fact, we don't even know if it's a special thing or if it happens all the time. And well, we just to never clarify, it. we understand that it happens yes. right, and we can measure that it happens. Right. So what you're saying is we don't understand why. Even if you ask, say, 50 quantum physicists, you might get 51 different answers oh, wow. as to what quantum entanglement really is. Okay, that I it's did so not know. <laughs> right. it, it's kind of like if you ask 100 biologists what life is, you'll get 101 answers. Yeah. Same sort of situation. But the fundamentals, uh, biologists know what life is when they see it, okay. right? The same is sort of true for quantum physics and quantum entanglement. But boiled down to its most basic point, okay. you can basically think of two entangled particles mm -hmm. as being one particle that somehow gets separated. But even if it's separated in space and in time, they are still the same particle. You're just stretching it. So imagine if you have a, a little ball and you break it in half mm -hmm. and then you're kind of moving it. It's kind of like this quantum a taffy or caramel almost that okay. continues to connect them even though there could be a huge amount of space or time between those two parts. They are still the same particle. And that's a quantum thing that you're describing. That's right. Not a classical thing. That's right. Because classically, there's nothing between them. 